Hello again, my name is Chelsea. I am a professional photographer, web designer, and uh, <laughs> graphic designer. Jesus, long day. I wanted to just come and make this video real quick uh, just to help anyone out there who feels that they have started design and that they uh, are getting shit on for using like Canva or something to that nature. So I want to tell you something that other designers will not tell you. Um, as a graphic designer, as an art kid, anything going to digital design, use what works for you. What I'm about to show you is how to use Canva as it's intended. Canva is an art board, plain and simple. It's the same thing that freaking uh, Adobe Photoshop is, except you can't do like push and pull, those sorts of things. It's, it's literally all the same thing. So you can design simple or complex designs um, if you would like using the elements in Canva because it's going to stack those layers. So let me just very quickly show you what I mean. This is a book that I started working on. Um, just the journal that is going to be in good notes. It's called Anger Management for the Obviously Angry. I'm just going to export this first page right here. Uh, just so you can see. Now this first page is its own artboard. If you tap on each element, each element is its own separate thing. The only problem is if you don't have these fonts downloaded to your device, uh, then your other software will not be able to read it because Canva is web-based. It's a web-based art board. And if you don't have them on your device, once you export it, this won't look like this. So I already have it exported to my device. I'm not going to do the export process um, just to show you. I am going to go over to my files where I have it saved as a PDF and as a What's that thing called? PowerPoint. Both a PDF and a PowerPoint presentation are again their own forms of artboards. So I'm going to click on this one I had been messing around with. Just so you can see, I moved all the elements over. I'm going to <laughs> reset the board because I had moved everything over way too goddamn much. Um, I'm going to show you what it came like. Yeah, because I had totally moved all my stuff over things like that there we go so we'll go to this one aesthetically dope and this is what it looks like so let's tap on say the um, PDF file at the top it's going to open it up in because I'm actually in PowerPoint it's going to open it up in PowerPoint and as we can see, you can hardly see the aesthetically dope, but it's going to look at it and say, oh, it reads it as bold, which I don't have saved on this device. So if I tried to save it, all of this uh, stylized text will not save necessarily, but let's do some changes. Let's move it outside of the, the artboard and see, look at the bottom uh, left-hand side of the screen. You will not see any of these elements because all of the layers stacked one on top of the other are being re removed. And the only thing that remains is this, <laughs> the background. So whatever you do when you create your, your background, my background, when I put it in Canva, was set to this is the background. So PowerPoint reads it as this is the background and it will not make it a white background. However, take the same document, which is a PDF or even not a PDF and open it up in say Affinity Designer. I'm going to go back so you can see. Um, once you open it up in Affinity Designer, if you, there's a few that I opened up like this. This one I saved as a photo. So it's reading the elements as a photo. If you come over here, you'll see your tabs. This is what I meant by the artboard part. Um, close it, two pages, artboards, right? That's what those two pages are being read as based on the software that I'm using. And it's doing the same thing that everyone else does except is breaking it down a little bit more, just a little bit more. So the colors, I can go here and change. Um, that's changing this tab here 
the anger management tab. And then say it's like, oh, well, I wanted to warp something. I'm using my iPad, so bear with me. I warped this to make it kind of pointy. Just move this up. You can click on it and move the nodes around. Like everyone should know whoever uses Photoshop or Affinity Designer that this is, this is what this is. But see, once you move it outside of the artboard, you no longer see it. You know, whatever you have moved will no longer stay in the, the artboard. These palm trees I have here, they read the palm trees like a photo. Um, and I, I moved it out of the artboard, but it's, it's still there technically. Same for this one, move this out, 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 out. All the layers, all the layers, all the little layers, the frames, all the little frames. Man, it read every frame. <laughs> all the frames, last frame, next frame. <laughs> and there you have it. And you can go to your layers tab and you can see where everything is how you've moved it, what your your artboard looks like now based on what you just did. Um, even my little, uh, what do you call it? Little cassette tape right here. Um, it is broken down as you go into it. Now, go into it, let's say, oh, I don't want this to be pink anymore. Let's make the outline of it like this blue color and I don't care for that purple color anymore. I'm gonna make it that color. And what else on the cassette? Um, so it gives you much more control over stuff you pretty much already had control over to begin with. You just had to be willing to, to make that change. <laughs> make this white. And that's it. You know, we can move each element off, get rid of them entirely. Like, there's just so much that you can do once you export it out of Canva. So just remember that you can start all your designs in Canva if you want to. Don't feel any pressure to continue um, to, to design something. If you like the way it looks and you want to expand it, make it larger, turn it into an SVG, export it out of Canva, import it into Photoshop or into, what's the other one called? What the hell is this called? <laughs> Affinity Designer. And you're actually able to change those elements there and warp it, push it, you know, really break that creativity um, down. It literally has to do with how you export your stuff outside of Canva. So I hope that little tip is helpful to all you new designers. <sighs> it's been a long day. <laughs> Anyways, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and later.